Okay, so what I'm going to do is just give a bit of an overview from a student perspective, how to go and kind of explore Google Classroom. Um, so I've actually got the mobile app and I can see that a teacher has posted something so I've got a notification. So I've gone ahead and logged in to Google already and you can see here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the waffle and I'm going to go to Google Classroom. When you go to Google Classroom, you'll see that you've got an overview of all the classes that you are a part of. If you want an overview, just say just assignments and tasks that you have to complete, you can go to the to-do list here and you'll see that list. Okay, you'll see if something's overdue, when the due dates are, that type of thing. If you want more specific information though, then I suggest you just click on the individual class. When you do that, you're obviously taken to the stream. Okay, and you'll see the most recently um, posted information from your teacher here. If for some reason you can't find the particular assignment, that's okay. You click classwork and then you click this one here, view your work. Here you'll be able to see the specific information about assignments that you have. Okay, so this one here is due tomorrow, so this is my priority. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this one. If I click it once, I can see that there's work attached. However, to see the actual instructions, you should go ahead and click view details. On this page here, this is where you get all the information that you need. So you can see the due date and the fact that it's due tomorrow. You can see how many points it's worth. If your teacher has set up a, a marking guide, you can see this here. Okay, you can see where you get your marks from. If you have a particular question, you can write it in the private comments here and that will just be seen by your teacher. So, so you can ask that there. This box here in the top right hand corner, this is the most important part. Okay, because this document here has got my name on it, my name is Student Test, then I can see that the teacher has assigned me a specific document to complete this work. Okay, so I can go ahead and double click that and it will open up the document that I need to complete my work in. If for some reason I start the work and I need to quit out of it and come back at a later time, then you can access this by just going through the exact same way as we did before. You can double click this open. Okay, but I'm actually um, going to complete this assignment. So if you go ahead and you finish it, so here's my work here, then if you want to submit it, you can actually just hit this turn in button here. Okay, so you can click it once and it will actually um, double check that that's what you want to do. So as you can see here, it's just double checking. Do you want to hand in um, your work for the transactional writing assessment? And you can go ahead and hit hand in just to confirm. You'll know for sure that it's gone through if this the, was black and it said um, hand in, now gives you the option to unsubmit. Okay. Unless you've submitted by mistake, there's probably no reason that you need to go ahead and hit that. This work now, your work, has gone to your teacher. Okay, so um, now because I've got the app on my phone, I've actually got a notification to say that my assignment has been returned to me. So once again, I'm logged into Google. I'm going to click the waffle and go to Google Classroom. Because I know um, that this was an English assignment, I'm going to go straight to that English Classroom. And similar to the way we did it before, I'm going to go to the Classwork page and then hit that View Your Work button. Okay, now you can see that the assignment that I've done is just there, it's the one on top. But over time, obviously, this list is going to get a little bit longer. So you can just hit this uh, topic or category, sorry, to the side here where it says returned, and that will show you all the assignments that have been marked and given back to you. So if I click this once, I can see that my work's there and I can see the score. However, once again, hitting view details will give me more information. So I go ahead and hit um, view details. If you just take a look here before we get into the actual assignment feedback, you can see that um, 
the teacher has replied to the initial question that I asked and keep in mind that that conversation is private so you can ask for help you can ask questions and just the teacher will see that and they can respond to you as well so if you look up here next to the assignment title you can see that I've scored 20 out of 40 okay that's what I got on this assignment because the teacher is using a marking guide I can go ahead and see where I got my marks from so I can see that for A05 I got a band 2 and I can have a read and and kind of see what I need to do to maybe move up and I can do the same for A06 as well so you can see where your marks came from for actual teacher feedback go ahead and double click on your work the feedback from your teacher automatically appears in pink okay so you can see what the teacher um, has said about your work here okay have a read through the teacher may ask you to resubmit so you can edit it in your document and then hit this resubmit button there otherwise that is your assignment and that will always be there for you to um, go back and have a look at to revise from um, in the future.